what is the integral of arc sine of x or the inverse sine of x dx? How can we begin this problem? What we need to use is integration by parts. So we're going to use the formula. The integral of u dv is uv minus the integral of v du. So what we're going to do is we're going to make u equal to sine x, or arc sine x rather, and dv is going to be dx. So if dv is equal to dx, and if we integrate both sides, then we can say that v is equal to x. Now u is equal to the arc sine of x. Therefore, what is du? Now you need to know that the derivative of the arc sine of u, the formula is this, it's u prime over the square root of 1 minus u squared. So therefore, the derivative of arc sine of x is going to be the derivative of x, which is 1, divided by the square root of 1 minus u squared, or 1 minus x squared. And so that's going to be du. That's the derivative of arc sine of x. So now we have everything that we need to apply the integration by parts formula. And so it's going to be u times v. So u is arc sine of x times v, which is x, minus the integral of v, so that's x, times du, which is going to be 1 over square root 1 minus x squared dx. So we no longer need this part. We can get rid of that. But we do need to use u substitution for that integral. So what we're going to do is we're going to make u equal to 1 minus x squared. And so du is going to be the derivative of 1 minus x squared. That's a negative 2x dx. And then let's divide both sides by negative 2x. And so what we now have is x arc sine of x. And let's replace 1 minus x squared with the u variable. And let's replace dx with du over negative 2x. And so this is going to be minus the integral of x divided by the square root of u. And instead of writing dx, we're going to write du over negative 2x. And so we could cancel x. And we can also cancel the negative sign. So we can make that positive. And I'm going to move the 2 to the front. So this is going to be x arc sine of x, and then plus 1 half, because the 2 was in the bottom, antiderivative of 1 over square root u du. 1 over the square root of u is basically u to the negative 1 half, if you bring it to the top. And so we could use the power rule on that expression. And so it's going to be u to the negative 1 half plus 1 divided by negative 1 half plus 1 plus c. Negative 1 half plus 1, that's going to be negative 1 half plus 2 over 2, which is 1 over 2. So we're going to have u to the 1 over 2 divided by 1 over 2. 1 half divided by 1 half is 1. Let's not forget plus c. Now, u to the 1 half, we can rewrite that as the square root of u. And then we could replace u with 1 minus x squared. So this is going to be the final answer. x arc sine of x plus the square root of 1 minus x squared plus c. So this is the integral of the arc sine of x function. 